Sinking the audio. Sinking the audio. And sinking this episode. I think the audio is right now. <laughs> we're, we're, we're pretty in sync with it. Yeah. What up? What up? What up? What episode? Forty-six. Is it cool? Yeah, because Zach was forty-five, wasn't it? Because I remember. Yeah, yeah I remember. Yeah, start, yeah. I started saying call forty-five. That was a fun episode. episode. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. Episode. Shout out to Zach for coming on. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, one of the boys. One of the boys. Uh, how long have we known Zach? I guess we should have talked about that. Yeah, like we didn't whatever. give much introduction. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, this is our friend. Yeah, but whatever. It was, that was, yeah, that, that was more or less just like a, a view on all, a prequel to this conversation uh, <laughs> on what we do if we all hung out anyway. So that's yeah. pretty much what we all do anyways, right? Yeah. Just hang out and shoot the breeze. So yeah, that was just a prequel to this conversation for this episode. So. Yeah, it was a build up. <laughs> I think that's the first time we've had guests on back to back as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, which I think it's pretty neat. Moving up. Yeah, moving on up the chain, folks. Yeah. Which we're starting to get, you know. Yeah. We're feeling some momentum. How do you know, know Zach? I think I know him from, like, he was Mark's friend. I know him as Mark's friend. From, like, grade, I was, like, sixth grade. Um, Not even. For me, it was, like, grade 10? Yeah, like, you didn't know him until high school, eh? Um, No, not not that I can recall. Right. Just because it was the summer of, I think, grade 9 going into grade 10, and I was, like... Okay. Me and Ed were still kind of hanging out, but then Ed was on the same bus as like Zach and like okay. a few other guys, I think. All right, all right. So then Ed was just like, "Oh, hey, you know these guys, Zach." And like, you know, we will we all play World of Warcraft. I'm like, "Oh, all right, I can entertain that's this." How it started? Yeah, that's one of the, one of the main they things. They were all yeah. part of the world of Warcraft. <laughs> Some, Some of our friends still are, which is insane. Yeah, well, well your brother is too. Like he, he actually, yeah, he had a conversation about it because like, oh yeah, he's saying right now, right now, because he's like. He's single, there's no expansion coming out, but at the same time, he's like, I almost don't feel like having to sink so much time in this game anymore. Like, I play his more console games because he can kind of step away. But, like, he knows yeah. that, like, if he plays WoW again, like... It's just you get sucked in. You just get sucked right there's into no it. There's no winning. And, and, like, yeah. There's you, no winning those games. Because people you play with, like, if you miss a week, you, you can't catch up to them, pretty much, oh, really? unless you spend a lot of time. That's, like, to the level it's at. Right? Yeah, the, the level he wants to get to yeah, as well. Yeah, that's right. Because he, like, doesn't... It's wouldn't like want training. to just play it casually. It's he like wants training, eh? Yeah, he just wouldn't want to play casually. He'd want to play and like yeah, progress and like in like the guilds and stuff he's in. Sure. Okay. That makes sense yeah. though. Like it's like fucking sports when you play for so long and then you realize oh, I'm not going to make it to the NBA. Yeah. And you stop. You take it easy. You become more casual with it. Yeah, exactly. But you can still be competitive, and yeah. it's fulfilling. Yeah, because he's got some console games. He's playing Actually, this stuff is. Too. A, I was thinking about this today, Sam. Would you rather be like? The best at something and be lonely at the top, or mediocre, not mediocre at something, but pretty good at something on a team that you all get to fucking enjoy succeeding in, or something like that. I, I'd probably go with the team one. Yeah, me too, hands down. And obviously, maybe just because I'm more of like a, I love sports, maybe someone who doesn't like sports as much or things like that might be yeah. more prone to. Just do the solo thing, sure. But I, I like the camaraderie and yeah, and all that of a team yeah, and like for sure. It feels more fulfilling. Sure, if, it if feels I, more fulfilling to like do stuff that involves, uh, like progressing other people as well as yourself. Yeah, as opposed to just like the singularity of you succeeding. Because then again, I, it becomes something like that World of Warcraft thing where you just like are down this rabbit hole until someone might declare you a winner. I guess, but even then, it's a gray area. <laughs> Yeah, but I think <laughs> I guess you can go down as like a legend one, but even then, like it doesn't feel like it, it depends. Like if you're at the top, like yeah, it's um, lonely at the top. That's the only way I can look at it. You know, top, as in like um, bad example, but like you're saying, like maybe like Michael Jordan, like lonely at the top, is being so goddamn. Well, good. he wasn't though. Like, like he wasn't lonely. Yeah, at the like, top. like there was other players around him, but like yeah, like he's con- like the NBA is. Not that. The NBA is full of the best in the world. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm talking, like, even rock climbing. Rock, uh, I guess you can still build a kind of, there's a community with rock climbing. It's interesting, but. Yeah. I don't know. Even like, uh, like bodybuilding, like your brother, there you go. Bodybuilding, that's something like he even stopped kind of bodybuilding, right? At one point. Just yeah. I kind of was like, fuck it, I'm just going to be fit. Yeah, because at one point, like, well, first I think he was cutting for the wrong, like, I'm not sure what they're called, but like classes. Yeah, right. There's one for more of like like guys Mitch's size, where they're kind of more like the bulk and physique, sure. when the other ones are more for like kind of people minding your guys' build, uh, like the like slender slim. kind of guys, but like toned and fucking like, all that. 
Yeah, and like I think last year, like Mitch, the Tin Man. Me and you are like the Tin Man. Yeah, like just the slang, <laughs> like the slender guys. But like me and you got fucking just cut. But like we wouldn't be fucking like huge. We'd just be like oh, yeah, yeah. just toned. Yeah, and, like I'm a. I was a distance. Like I was a runner. Yeah, you know, right. there's think, no getting big. Being I, think, I think Mitch got in that last time. Like he was in the wrong division. Right. So he was like, oh, oh like oh, when fuck, he actually like, did that. Like yeah, that was a long time ago. Like, yeah, that was like what five years ago, five four years ago. <sighs> yeah. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. Three, at least four. Yeah. Because that was like his... Yeah, have you seen the, the girl what? before? His ex. Yeah, his ex. His ex-ex. X, X, X. <laughs> Triple hey, X. Oh. Triple X. Oh, Vin, Vin Diesel? Vin Diesel's insane. Vin Diesel is... kind of turning into a crazy person. Is the best driver. I don't know if you've like seen his Instagrams or... He, he's the best driver known to man. Uh, well, Dominic Toretto and Fast and Furious. See, I don't even know his name. The fact that you know his name, I guess a lot. The of people, fact that you don't. I guess a lot me. of people know his name. It startles me that you don't know Dominic uh, Toretto. I have no need for speed, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> the need for speed is not here. No. <laughs> need for weed, on the other hand. Gotta live life quarter mile at a time, man. <laughs> What'd you say? Gotta live life quarter mile at a time. Quarter mile at a time. Okay. That's a pretty big stretch to go at one time. I know, right? Like, it's just just a metaphor. It's just deep. Sure, whatever. It's, it's not even. It's deep. It's bro. not even. It's deep. You could have named any distance. Because because in Fast and Furious, you all they're on cars and cars drive quarter miles. So like, you only live quarter uh, mile at a time. And he's a, and he's a driver. Like, it is layers. To it, bro. It's layers. To <laughs> Yo, us. how stupid sick movie. Fast and Furious is. <laughs> no man. <laughs> oh, no, I think I've terrible. seen the first one, and even that, I couldn't tell you. I remember someone might get oil put, poured in their mouth or something. Sure. That's like all I remember of the movie. I because it was badass, like at the first one or something. I just didn't know what they did Yo, with that one where they went to let you like not Tokyo Drift, but it was like the other one where it was just like a different cast. And it was just like okay, sure. like well, what was this one? <laughs> like sure. why is this one here? Yo, you know what I just realized? His last name is Walker, and he was in a driving movie, and he even died driving. Man, but his last name is Walker. Yeah, should have sucked to walking. Should have been driver. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Driver. Look at Chris for walking. He's walking. He seems to be all right. See? <laughs> <laughs> oh, terrible. But oh well. Yeah, yeah. Cut that out. <laughs> that was bad. No, I would keep it. <laughs> Fuck that. Cut that. <laughs> if I ain't cut it, Sam, go back. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, what's new? Nothing. NBA trades. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't get to it because Zach wasn't a big NBA yeah, yeah, guy. Yeah. Okay. Was, but yeah, we can we can jump into the NBA. Let's start with the rap. Wormhole. Sam. Raps. Yeah. Made some moves. Yeah, Aaron Baines and uh, Alex Len. We also Just, lost to Baca. Yeah, lost to Baca. And you could say lost to Gasol, but I feel like Gasol is gone either way. He lost himself. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, like, he, was, about deep. he was pivotal in the championship run, though. So you say that, and I don't disagree with you. But this year, it was just like, man. like it, I'm it, just saying maybe it could have been someone else, and we still would have won. But whatever. Maybe. You know? You know? But uh, he's on the Lakers, eh? The Lakers are just like, hey, everybody, come get a ring. Yeah, try and get a ring. And any journeyman that's been around the league and doesn't have a ring yet, and you're almost retiring, come on over to the Lakers. I'm not so confident ring. about them this year, this going through. Like, obviously, there's still going to be a fucking wreck show, but... Yeah, because I feel like with that, most of them are sounding like two-year deals. So, like, yeah. LeBron's probably going for a three-peat, then retiring. You think he's going to retire, right? Or Brown, then. I feel like um, by the time his son comes to the league, I don't think he wants to be in the league or play for like a season and then. Oh, okay. Or something like that. Become the first father son to play. To- yes. Are they the first father son to play together? Would they um, be? I don't think so. Oh, okay. But I, I just know like his son just gets so sure. much fucking hype just because he's LeBron's oh, son. Apparently, he actually is good. He is good, but he, I, he's not like. Playing with like Dwayne Wade. I don't think too. he's like top 10 or something. He might be, but. We'll see. But they're still in high school. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so who the fuck knows? Yeah, they'll go through a growth spurt again and wreck. Yeah, it's gonna be trippy. Like if you just the become NBA built like, like LeBron, like okay, yeah, watching the NBA in like 10, 15 years and just seeing like how different people's it is, yeah. like whether it's people's kids playing or like former players being coaches or GMs. And, well, it already is former fucking yeah people's kids playing for the most part. Yeah, this is kind of cool seeing like our generation, the stars. like our generation of players. Oh yeah, up and yeah, all yeah. That stuff. Yeah, that'll be cool. Uh, but yeah, so we get picked up Baines, which I think at first I was like, 
uh, but the more I thought about it, I was like, okay, no. He actually had a good season. Yeah, uh, like high energy, big, 3 and D kind yeah. of guy. Yeah, and he was filling Although in. he does get dunked on a lot. Like if you if you like YouTube, like Aaron Baines, like poster reel. Interesting. So many guys have just dunked on him. <laughs> Weird. Why is that? Maybe he just has to, I think because he's so aggressive. Like he always wants to go up for the block and stuff like that and just right. high energy like that. Okay. Okay. He reminds me of just like a JV. No. You know? but like JV's a bit more physical in the paint. Oh, like yeah. Stuff like, like he's that. younger. Like he, Baines is like an older JV. Like Baines is like, what, 33? Something like that? No, Baines is like 26. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. I'm going to look it up right now. Like I don't think he's a veteran. I don't think he's that old. Len's Let's definitely see. not either. Len's probably mid 20s. He's 33 years old. Oh, I thought he was younger. Hmm. Like Gasol's what, 35? So like yeah. it's not like a Gasol was slow out there though. So Baines slow. Baines won't be that slow. That's what I mean. I feel like he does kind of have this veteran. He low key has this veteran status. Like yeah. it's very low key, and hopefully with a seasoned Lowry. You know, and fucking all this and young talent and to keep him on his toes. Siakam slump. Siakam. I hate a sophomore slump. Pretty much exactly. sophomore slump, but kind of. I think he could actually be a good fit because people might not take him seriously. But then he's like, mid-season, it's going to be like, Baines. And yeah. people are going to be like, oh, shit. This guy's averaging Baines like... Baines now. He's like averaging like 13, 14 points. Something like few, that. few Just blocks. very solid. Maybe seven or eight rebounds a game, something that's like that. That's what we really need is more boards. Yeah, so. a few assists. That's Especially I, losing a. Ball. That's why I think Len is. I think Len just can be our bench, like big, just dude, get boards get, get and rebounds. pass it. Yeah, because he's not like hopefully a, like a threat offensively. You'd look at no, and on our bench we have a lot of that. And the Raptors mouth pick and roll. That's so we like, have a lot of that on our bench. They can both both those bigs and pick and roll yeah. really well. I really want to see the new rookie get some time, too. What, what, with that Malachi. Whatever. Especially losing Terrence Davis. I feel like fucking Terrence Davis. I feel like he might get a run, but I feel like he, he's gonna. They're gonna put him in the, in the G League. I would for sure. Like that will get him. Like man, full we lost Terrence time. Davis though. But like I we're think, down. Like our like he was a rookie. So I know like obviously Norm already gets a lot of looks, but like I think the other guys are. Gonna I'm get just saying. Well, look how much yeah. time Terrence Davis got this year. Yeah, a lot, and he was a rookie. So I think Nick Nurse is willing to. Like give him a shot early to see like if he's gonna mesh, and if he yeah. does or doesn't, that's gonna be like, yeah. So I probably make preseason games worth checking out. Then. Yeah, exactly. And again, Matt Thomas is this kind of wild card. Yeah, like I feel like he's just gonna be like, a really hot and cold shooter. Like there's gonna be nights where he's gonna be like seven or eight, like maybe like six. We haven't got out to see him that much, and he's no. always fucking guarded, like. They fucking guard the shit out of him. Yeah, no one no. wants to let him shoot the ball. Yeah. No one wants to leave him open. So I because feel that's like how he sings. You, you get him in the game more often, he's going to find ways to get open more hopefully, often. Hopefully. Because he's fast. Hopefully. Because he's fast. Yeah, because he's, he's not very big. Yeah, but he, he seemed to hold his ground defensively. Totally. He's seen fast. Him. Yeah, I wouldn't like say he's like fast. an amazing defender, but no. get the job done, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah, like I'm super interested to see him get more time. And I remember, yeah, I didn't see him last year. Or maybe a bit but like that Brissett. Like, no. Yeah, I mean, he actually he, filled he, he in the spot. Right. He did fill in the spot. He looked all right. So I think mm-hmm. there's there's a few things they can play with, I'm sure. Yeah. I think th- there might be the next like coming of like the, the bench mob, sure. per se. I'd even like, I'd even uh, consider putting Boucher at power forward, like for a lineup. Yeah, I feel like know? Boucher's got to beef up some. He's like he's. Yeah, he I know he's does. fucking lanky as shit, but like he might not like, be able to. But yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, he might not be able to. But like I think he's got to do something. Yeah, to feel like he just gets bullied in the paint by big people. people. Yeah, yeah, of course. I like Boucher's mobility and like some of the blocks he's made. Yeah, and oh, he's he, a he, good blocker. He can hit, hit a three pointer as well. So that's he's a nice. good blocker. Yeah. So that's what you need. Like we need that good defense, and we I think that, that he is good at that. Here. Yeah, he is good at that, and I think uh, people will get savvy to him being able to block. So you'll be the intimidation factor will be there a little more. Yeah, because I think not being so big. I think preseason is in a couple of weeks. Oh, it's so quick. Yeah, yeah. Because like season opens like December twenty second or something like that. Yeah. So it's less. Than yeah, a month. I'm pumped, man. We got to do the fantasy. Yeah, we got to do fantasy. Fantasy ball. Uh, we got to th- figure out how to do it. On if the anybody's podcast, watching, um, yeah, we would either live film like our us drafting or something. I don't know. Make Maybe, that yeah. an episode or something. Maybe. Yeah. I feel like that took that might take too yeah, long. Yeah, it did take a while. Somehow. Yeah. 
Maybe it's okay. We, we'll just run through our picks. Yeah, run through our picks and they do some like predictions before the draft or yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. Fantasy league predictions. Yeah, because I've been kind of slowly getting more into like learning like the spread and stuff like that for like sports betting and like oh yeah, shit, you, stuff what, like what that. What didn't you know about the spread? Well, like I I, I kind of understood it, but like I kind of need to like hear a couple of different people say it in a different sure. way and yeah, like yeah, yeah. look up the actual like, definition of it. I was like, all right, I. I I'm kind of on board with this. Yeah, and like, like if a team wins by X amount of points, and if the other team loses by X amount of points. Yeah, if right. like with a, if a team A has like a plus four on the spread, the winning team wins by X you, amount of points. Since you put team more. B, who is like the f- minus four points on the spread, yeah. give them four more points to start the game. Exactly. Then Team A, or yeah, yeah, yeah. take the end, score at the end of the game, and add four or subtract four. Yeah, it's basically it whatever the totals is, plus and minus. Yeah, that's the best way to look at it. Yeah, yeah. Because that's your podcast. I've been watching. I guess this is podcast, technically a radio show, but uh-huh. um, like they say all these random ass like stats, like when like a certain player is against the spread on oh, fucking okay. this day. It's like sure. shit. Okay, that's, sure. There's some validity in there. I feel like sure. Yeah, like sports betting is. There's a science to it. Like, it's all math and statistics and shit, right? Like, yeah. Right, you're still gambling because someone can play good or not. So. Yeah, because, like, I had, I had a, I wouldn't quite say ballsy bet, but I had a five-team parlay on uh, football? on Sunday for football. Oh, yeah? And three of the teams won. Oh, yeah. And the other and two lost, so I didn't get it. But the payout would have been... Parlays are okay. Nice. Like, I don't mind betting a parlay because you can bet a couple and bucks. Like, and, and just uh, because it was my first time on the site, it was like, like I had bet 365. Oh, okay. They, they, they gave you like a little, like, yeah, I they think give you I, double your money or whatever. Yeah. Where, like, mine was like out of $50 sure. parlay for five teams, and the pay was like $1,400. I'm like, all right. Oh, uh, true. Let's go. <laughs> like, true. Say but, I'm putting 50 bucks down. But, but it was like the credit. Like, it was your bet credit or whatever they give you. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah. Interesting. Something I'm going to keep an eye that on. That would have been a big payout, like five games, too. Like five games. All you had to pick was five games. Yeah. But, you know, football's hard. Football's so fucking unpredictable, eh? Yeah, it can be unpredictable. What were the games you lost? Um, the Atlanta New Orleans game, because uh, Drew Brees was out, so they're using their backup quarterbacks. Oh, so I thought so Atlanta, like, oh, Atlanta should was take coming it. off a decent game, and New Orleans has okay. lost Drew Brees. Maybe Isn't they, New Orleans doing know. really good? They are doing good, but I felt like they might have... Atlanta can steal some games. Like They're bad. They're doing bad this year, but they, they're good enough right. to have a game where they, they might steal one. Especially when a team is doesn't, yeah. Play good. yeah, might not be ready for them. And plus, but they played the quarterback. Yeah, then they lost fucking twenty three to nine Ugh. or something like that. Ah. I was like, all right, sweet. And then the Falcons other game, not looking so hot. Eh? Um, fuck, what was the other game? Um, I've not been keeping touch with football at all. No, I, I've been watching some games, and now that got a new TV, right, right, got a nice seventy inch TV. TV. Yeah. Football's <laughs> nice on there. Is it four K? Like, do yeah. you get four K? Well, like, do you know? if I can find, like, a 4K stream, because I'd, like... Is it through your Amazon stick? No, I, no, I actually... We have been oh, using it's a smart... Laptop. Oh. Is it, it through the HDMI? HDMI? Yeah. K- Does this HDMI out support 4K? Do you know? I, he has a nice gaming laptop, so... Yeah, so it might. might. Yeah. Because even, like, uh, I thought that would happen when we got the 4K TV originally, like, a few years ago. Yeah. Just streaming from the laptop, and then I was like, oh shit, like this laptop doesn't even have 4K. Like it doesn't even know what 4K is. You know what I mean? So sure. there's like, just maybe check that because maybe you're not even looking at it in 4K. No, yeah, this is just a nice, clear, big screen. Yeah, exactly. Is it a smart TV? Yeah. Yeah. yeah like it connects to the internet, yeah. right? And you can get apps and shit. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And I also the Amazon Fire Stick in it as well. Yeah. But that's not 4K. You probably need to get like a 4K Amazon Stick or something. Probably. Something and, like that. and just like the browser on there and like the some of the, like the one thing, like the live net thing was okay, but. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's, it works. Sometimes. Yeah. It works when. It's, it's an HDMI from which is laptop to the TV. So much easier. Yeah. A computer's always easier. Yeah. I'll tell that to easier. everyone. It's like, you know, like it, it sucks to have, to have a computer there or whatever, but. Fuck, is it ever easier? Yeah, it just we just need to get an extra HDMI cable. And sometimes you like it, you get pop ups, but honestly, Command W, you guys, Command W is your best fucking friend. Just <laughs> one pops up, doom, gone. <laughs> she gone. 
Yeah. Command W. Oh, and you and your freaking command keys. Man, my command keys. My laptop, there's no command button anymore. It's like all worn out. Yeah. yeah. Just mount it. Fuck, do I mount that command key? <laughs> key commands, everyone. You want to get fast on the computer? It's fucking less mouse clicks and less key mouse tracks. You know? That's it. Comes down key to commands, seconds. shortcuts. Comes down to microseconds, guys. Key commands. Efficient. It all adds up. Yeah, for all you entrepreneurs out there trying to save your money and time. All adds up. Does that hire me too? But yeah, that's I'm all right. Story. But yeah, Sam can edit. Yeah, he edits these podcasts now, so I can do a thing or if two. If you got any beef, yeah, with him, yeah, I can you know take it. Oh, I'm not wearing the sweater. I thought I was wearing the people favorite sweater. Wow. Enzo goes up to the shirt now. The, the face. No, oh, yeah. Both of them. You're just like call out them. It's so funny. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think he does guy. recognize me, obviously, because yeah. he goes he goes to this too. He oh, yeah? in here, got a little black. It's so funny. That's awesome. Yeah, just get grab a pick next time he's posted up in front. Yeah, of there. true. I should. Yeah, I definitely should. Shout out to Enzo. Yeah. Enzo. Yeah, he's crushing it. He's teething, the pain, but he's got That's one. Where he's always coming. been teething. No, he's actually got <laughs> teeth coming in now. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. Got some chompers coming in, man. He just stands up on everything now. Just stands up on everything. He's just yelling, da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's awesome, it's man. Funny. Fucking babies. Yeah, dude. Babes growing up. Yeah. So the set's coming along. We need to do some more things. Yeah, we've got some uh, greening. You know, we have we have guns and drugs in our yeah, set now. Yeah, guns, marijuana. You yeah. know, I hate dead bodies. Yeah, skeletons. and Fucking out. Can they even you, see the head? Oh, oh, yeah, they can Kind of, yeah. If I was actually watching, comment what, what, comment what we should name him. Yeah, we want to name him. Hame, we're, we're assuming it's a him. Seamus? <laughs> Deckard Kane. Mo- Morty? Oh, let's name him Deckard Kane. Deckard Kane. It's classic. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Fuck Yo, me. would your brother come on the podcast? Would you want your brother to come on the podcast? Probably not. <laughs> would you want your brother to come on the podcast? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe, but no. <laughs> No, let's face it. You just embarrass me. No, well, maybe your brother's not embarrassing. You guys are the no. same. <laughs> They're the same. Yeah, so it might be almost like too much of like. And just, I'm embarrassing. So. They just monotone. Just uh, me kind of. <laughs> <laughs> you twice. Yeah, <laughs> just just me you twice. twice. Me with brown hair who's shorter and more bigger. Yeah, and work and works out. Yeah, then you have the taller stone fucking mongoloid version. <laughs> and that's your boy. DJ SJ. Yeah, really? SSJ. Um, okay, so back to NBA quick. Okay, what do you got? Eastern Conference. Looking yeah. pretty fucking deadly now. So is the West. Like, the NBA's in a really good well, spot right now. Yeah, like it all spread out a lot. It really did. Because yeah. I feel like every team, you know how, like, we talk about how big, you've, not me. I don't actually say that a lot as as much as you. But you you like to say like the the, the big man's role has changed a lot. Yeah. Like, you know, like the drum and type isn't the type everyone wants anymore, which yeah. is true to an extent for sure. Um, but I think after that there was like the whole you know how there was like everyone changed their style because fucking Steph Curry, you know. Yeah. Every single sports league is a copycat league. Yeah. Somebody starts doing something that kind of works. Everybody's like, "Oh, they're doing that. Maybe we can try it." But sure. it's just tweaking well, our way a little bit. Well, you have to figure out how to beat it. Yeah, right. And sometimes you can't. Yeah, because like a while ago in the NFL, there was just like the why should you remember like the Wildcat, like the Wildcat formation. No, like the Dolphins did that formation, and like it worked a few times, and like and everybody okay. started doing it, okay. and then like then it kind of it kind of went back out, then sure, kind of sure, comes sure. back and forth. Yeah, but so I feel like there's that shift again, when now. Everyone needs, like, uh, depth. Like, everyone needs depth now. Like, that's the only way you're going to fucking win. Yeah, well, people realize that in the, in the playoffs, if you're riding your, your I main think the, rotation... And I think of, the Raps did that. Of four, the Raps potentially did that. Yeah, four, five, I don't know six that players. Fact, but. You need a few more guys to step up and... Three of those guys aren't having a good night. Yeah, you can't depend in like, on in two game superstars. three of a fucking conference final at you know, randomly. They might exactly. need exactly. You can't depend on two superstars to play exceptional all the time. Yeah, because other teams have superstars and other teams will game plan Clippers against you. Clippers proved that, right? Clippers proved that this in a, season. Yeah, in a seven game series, it's different. Raptors proved it when they won the championship. Clippers proved it this year. Miami even proved it, making it to the yeah. finals. 
Well, yeah, you have a tight knit team with good chemistry and yeah. you know a few things. I think Miami's out. not as deadly this year. Um, I don't no, know. They're sort of I, in the middle of the pack. I still in the East thought though. last season was a bit of a fluke of a season for them, like to make it that far. Yeah, anyways. you you could say. Um, but Milwaukee, I, I I can't trust them in the playoffs. No, no, I, I, I need to Nobody see can. it. Nobody can. But Boston looks deadly still. Oh, they had, they had a great draft too. Yeah, they did. Um, because they still have like everybody except everyone. like Hayward, Cantor, and the fucking mechanic. Yeah, and then they picked up fucking Thompson. Yeah, and then, then yeah, they had two they or three guys that are like, shit, these guys are going to be deadly players yeah. in a year or two. Then there's the Hawks. The Hawks went and made, we're like, okay, Trey Young, we're actually going to give you some help. Like, get I think that must have been you. the plan all along, right? They're yeah. like, okay, a couple but, seasons but, from now, Trey, we're going to fucking go all in on you. Yeah, man. they kind of, the whole like actual like trust the process, like get a few young guys and, and, get, then, and, and then make some Rondo free agents. Yeah. To fucking groom the shit out of them. Oh, yeah. Learn a thing Fuck. or two. And they got Clint Capella. Uh, yeah, man, they got some shooters. Who else do they get? They like, got too many people. Gallinari. Gallinari. Fuck. He's uh, going to be nice. There's another one. Covington? No, Covington's on no. the Shared Blazers. I like that move, too. Yeah, that's, yeah, right. Yeah, a lot of teams that you make yeah, some Portland, good moves. Yeah, Portland, too. Portland still looks fucking crazy, too. There, there wasn't too many moves. Derek Jones Jr.? Yeah, there wasn't too many moves. I felt like someone made a bad move. Or like reached. Too I feel like much. I wouldn't have given. I don't know how it works, but I don't know if Miami should have given Bam that five year, like the max, max extension or something. But I don't know. Again, I just don't know the politics. I don't know how it works. Yeah. Well, I think I, I'm. That I'm, means like I'm, they're, I'm they can't get Giannis, right? Like they're not even the running for well, Giannis. Well, also now. when that I, there's some shit that happens when you put them on a max contract, like some of the salary gets like. Not offset, but like sure. it, it's it doesn't go direct, directly against your salary cap because it's like a guaranteed amount. I that, heard some people talking today how like that. They, they, it basically does put them out of the running for you. At yeah, least I don't when think they put he was it, going there anyways. I thought there was talk of that for sure. Miami's a nice yeah. warm place, my friend. Yeah, it is, but like Giannis wants more. He's from fucking Greece. Yeah, I guarantee you, he likes you more. Know, fucking more. Milwaukee. Yeah, Milwaukee sucks. And it's apparently pretty racist there still. So, like, the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. the Bucks are a historic franchise, but yeah. I, yeah, no, who cares? It's not even like so a were basketball. So were the Supersonics. Yeah, it's not even like a basketball. I feel like the Supersonics will come back. The Seattle you team's think so? coming back at some point. The Seattle uh, team? Nah, Seattle. Who's going to Seattle? You a lot go? of people. You want to go? I'd go. No, you wouldn't. Seattle fucking sucks. Well, I hear Seattle sucks. I mean, I guess it's probably like everybody says it's, it's probably gloomy over, and rainy and yeah, I wouldn't like spend a week there. I'd be like, all right, just if you see the fucking that like, giant tower, great tower and fucking you know cruise around, see some shit, have fun in Seattle. It's not the first choice, but that'd be neat. It's probably like one of the last. <laughs> like if you're doing that, like like a West Coast somewhere around the West, and fucking, I'd go right through it. I'd be like Seattle, see ya, <laughs> Seattle. That's exactly right. <laughs> hey, and then go from there. Yeah, but yeah, maybe if, maybe if you lived on the on the I'd west end of Canada, I'd go right past it to go like to in like BC to Portland to Oregon. I go right to Oregon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you have to be much better than, than Seattle, but I think there's worse places to go than Seattle. Well. I got money on Portland this year. Now that Nurkic is fucking full force. Nurkic is a good competition for I can Anthony definitely see Davis. him being a top five team in the West. He's a good competition for Anthony Davis. He's a lot to handle. Yeah. And the Lakers I think he are, can play differently, too, I, I per think game. The, I think the Lakers getting too big might be an issue for them. Because they went and got Gasol mm. and fucking yeah, but Gasol's Adams and fucking all these big guys coming off the bench. They don't have Adams. They didn't get Adams or, the, or, they, or they flip him. Adams on the Pelicans. Oh, yeah, they flipped him to New Orleans. Yeah. But yeah, they, they got a couple other bigs and it's like, uh, okay. We're forgetting about the Pelicans too, I guess, but they just still don't seem as deadly. I think it's going to be one or two years. They're still. probably in that like... Picking up Adams. Six, seven, eight seed area. Kind of means that the they're... The bottom end of the Western Conference playoff picture. Yeah. And OKC this year, too. It's like, well... 
hard, not, not hard, hard rebuild, pass. but shout out to that GM for getting 17 first round picks in the next like four years. Yeah, like it's pretty That's insane. I think that what happened to Trey, they did to Shy. They're like, listen, Shy, you stick around, you be the guy. <laughs> yeah, well, like I saw some, it was, not, not it was on TikTok, young, but, but it got shared around other social media sites, but. Like this guy just kind of reenacted. It's like, all right, so we got Chris Paul for Westbrook for like two first round picks, and we traded Paul George for four, like four first round picks. Yeah. But then Chris Paul played too well, so we're like, shit, guys, we got to trade him now and we get some more first round picks for him. Which was so smart. Yeah. Like trade him while his value so high. See, like that's what I'm nervous about Lowry. If we don't do that with Lowry, I'm nervous about that. Yeah. I don't know if it will burn us that much, but I'm still nervous about it. Yeah, that one's a tough one. It's so that answer is so tough. It is. Part of me wants to say yes, like trade him and see what we can get for him. But the other part of me is just like let him go on his own term. If he asks for a trade, yes, grab a trade and get him out. But if not, let him re- either leave as a raptor or retire. Where the fuck he's doing? Or I don't know. I don't think it's up to him. But but oh, at the end of the day, it's not. The, yeah, yeah. Miss, I could call him tomorrow, but Kyle, you're traded. Exactly. Sorry. Again, like I'm just worried. I'm worried even for Lowry's sake. Like if like they don't have a good season, then his value goes down a bit, and it's like it goes down a bit. But at the same time, though, he's Toronto's best asset. They can trade now. That they re-sign Freddie. They can be like, okay, we are going back to trade. Sorry. Yeah, to yeah, trade. To yeah. trade. Yeah. It's like, oh, we're we are tanking. We're we're losing here. Well, we that's can what trade I mean. Like, Lowry. You all get, of our marbles you are get, in uh, Freddie and You get two first round about, picks for Lowry. I feel right? like. You can get at least two first round picks exactly. for Lowry. Or like, one pick and like a solid player coming back. Yeah. Like a solid yeah, player. Yeah. And again, so our, it's not like our, bad our money's in Freddie and Siakam now. They're the two guys. They're the two superstars that we need to perform. So we gotta build around them. We've already got fucking Norm and OG. OG still needs to step up a little bit. Yep, he's still but he, he showed glimpses in the playoffs, playing a lot of minutes and playing well. I mean, this Tatum. needs to be his breakout season. Oh every year's his breakout season, but well, that's what I mean. This really needs to be. But I, I'm kind of more at the terms with he's not going to merge like a Siakam did. Like he's not going to merge, be an All Star style player. I think he's just going to be a solid, just starter. I mean, but not, I just need like, him to be clutch. I need him to be yeah. smart and clutch. I'm happy because he's good on D. So yeah. we had that buzzer beater or whatever. Well, that's what I mean. He's clutch. So. Gotta keep it cool. Yeah. So keep it cool like OG. Big scarf energy, you know. Big big scarf energy. Big things, big things. Yeah. Big thing for show, which I'm looking forward to. Even though the Raptors are playing in Tampa Bay, what it's looking like. Yeah. Tampa Bay Raptors. Yeah. But at the same time, though, I feel like it could be good for the Raptors because they're playing somewhere warm. Like, they don't have to worry about, you know, sure. dealing with, I guess, Toronto stuff. Yeah. yeah. You know. Well, hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, well, we'll be playing more of that coming up in future podcasts. We'll probably do a whole yeah. season preview thing and fantasy Definitely. preview. Yeah, there'll be plenty of stuff It's going to be a lot more up. basketball, so I'm sorry. If you're not into basketball that much, we'll try and like yeah. incorporate it more so that you're not bothered yeah. by it. But yeah, well, if, You know, it's what well, it is. We, you it's can always comment below or let us know That's what else to talk about. That's why we get guests on and why we try to be funny, but we're not. So we'll talk about basketball. Yeah. <laughs> that's something we can Yeah, that's one thing I was going to say. We haven't been that funny today. But it's like, at least we've been talking about basketball. So. Basketball's just not that funny. No, that's the thing. We want to talk about Paul George being a bitch. But. <laughs> we can't talk about Paul George being a bitch. And all, we can also say, like, you know, happy Thanksgiving to the Americans watching this. I guess. Well, I mean, we're, no, we're going to be late. But. That, that's just for when we try to get canceled, when someone tries to cancel us and then go back and look at old videos of us. Oh, we can say we right. actually were thinking of things like this. And we're no, not. but they'll be like, right. oh, but Thanksgiving's bad by then, you know. Oh, well, By like, then they'll be like, oh, Thanksgiving's bad. And they said, happy Thanksgiving back then. So fuck them. Maybe. <laughs> People from the future. Yeah. What's your move now? Peace. We're on both sides, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, dude. What can you do? We're on this side of the turkey. Fucking some wild centrist over here. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> All right. Well, what are you gonna fade do about out, it? Sam. Fade out. Say goodnight to Deckard. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we, we definitely can. We can do that. All right. All right, pop up that pop logo. Pop up that logo. Right about ding. Ting. Yes, sir. Peace. Howdy.